Very quickly, UConn hired Jim Mora Jr., and the questions surrounding this are why from both sides. Jim Mora, of course, coached at uh, UCLA, and I believe he was 46-30 and 30 as the head coach there. Coached a bunch of Pro Football Hall of Fame guys. Of course, he was a coach in the NFL as well. You know, the, the joke, of course, is Brock Heward, who used to play at Washington. Everybody knew that Jim Mora Jr. wanted to be the head coach of the Washington Huskies for a very long time. So, of course, he tweeted out, uh, well, it looks like Jim actually gets to coach the Huskies, finally. This is, I, I don't I don't really get it from both sides, but I will say this, you are not going to find a more accomplished coach than Jim Mora to be the head coach at UConn, I do not believe. I think that this Why do you out, not get it from UConn's side? Uh, from UConn's side, I, it, this is a Who guy. Who the hell that, else are they going to go get? Well, that's the thing. That's a, If I'm looking at it, spinning it positively, exactly what I just said, right? You're not going to get a more accomplished guy than this. But also, this is a retread, and this is a guy that uh, failed at his last however many stops. You know, can he build a good enough foundation for whoever comes after him? I mean, he's still relatively young. He could be there for a long time. I I don't know what to make of it. I mean, I think, I think it's perfectly fine, but I'm not uh, passionate one way or the other. How, uh, how about you? Well, I think it's a home run hire for UConn. I don't know why Jim Moore did it, but I, like, <laughs> I can't understand how this is not a home run for UConn. Who the hell else is going there, Gary? Like, True. okay, not a retread. What young up-and-comer is saying, I'll take that UConn job? I think that's the biggest thing, right? There's no foundation built there. There's no nothing. This is like, They have no conference. They have no, they have no stability whatsoever. They don't have any ties to big boosters. And, and, and you're not getting the, the elite players of the Northeast to come play for you. This, this is not happening. Well, and uh, you're, not gonna be able to get, you're not going to be able to get those young guys that could just take this as like a massive, massive payday uh, because it does not pay as well as some of the other dregs jobs, right? Like it's yeah. This is not. A, this is. But you know, I hit the jackpot. Why, kind that's of job. why when you were saying you don't understand it from both sides, like no, I I don't understand it from Jim's side, but I completely get it from UConn's side. Nobody the caliber of Jim Moore is picking up the phone and calling him. I I tend to agree. Moore had and a you talked good... about failure at the last two spots. His last two spots. The, the level of success was winning the Pac-12 and winning a Super Bowl. True. Here, if he just wins four games, that'll be the greatest season they've had in a decade. That is true. That is very, very true. You are not wrong about so success that. Success and failure are measured <laughs> on not like they're not the same stick for everyone. No, you're, you're not wrong about that. You are not wrong about that at all. It is going to be interesting to see Jim Mora back on the sidelines. He, well, he he used to get into it on those you know post game shows and whatnot on ESPN and on Fox and whatever else. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like. I'm I'm kind of excited about it.